I remember in past interviews you've mentioned that uh, you don't necessarily fit the typical standards of what Chinese people think of as beautiful Chinese standards of beauty, um, that you're mm -hmm. a little bit more unique, a little bit something different. Um, so I'm just curious, you know, sort of what are those standards in China and sort of where did they come from? How are they changing? How has that sort of affected your, your work and the roles that you get? Um, I think every culture has its own standards of beauty, but those are changing, especially in China now. Because we can see through popular culture, it is no longer only about looks and appearances. The focus is shifting toward talent and ability. And the freedom to be yourself, that makes me happy. Yeah, and uh, I think in every society, uh, uh, the standards of beauty are often uh, side by others, and people end up looking the same, which is such a waste, I think. Yeah. Uh, and I want to say, everyone, ev uh, we are all in, we are all unique individuals. We contribute to society by bringing ourselves to the table, and uh, sharing, especially in the film industry. Uh, I believe audiences love seeing characters and uh, uh, the real people that they can relate with. Uh, and I think it is no longer stories about uh, lives of few. Uh, and although it's a guilty pleasure to so many people around the world, film has the potential to cross borders and tell people, hey, I'm human. I've had the similar experiences. Uh, you're not alone. And also, I'm so proud to be a part of this community of artists. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, do you think that in China, actresses are subject to a different kind of scrutiny than they are in the West? Is there something unique about what actresses in China have to go through? <laughs> yeah, um, women who are actors in China are subject to the same standards as women in film in every country. We are expected to be flawless, but again, that's all changing. Instead of talking about the standards of beauty, uh, people are beginning to talk about the standards of ability, of individuality, mm -hmm. of the freedom to be, to move. That is so exciting, yeah. Mm -hmm. That is <laughs> that what is. I hope <laughs> <laughs> yeah. for everyone globally. Um, and I guess since this is Caring's Woman in Motion talk, I wanted to add, end with a question about, about women in cinema and, and women in Chinese cinema. How, how do you think women have really contributed to, to Chinese cinema in particular, and how do you hope to see women contributing more in the future? Uh, women have contributed to cinema tremendously. Uh, it's, not about only, it's not only about those uh, who work in front of the camera. I've been lucky enough to work with directors, cinematographers, directors, and uh, producers, uh, people behind the scenes that have proved that the focus uh, is no longer only on masculinity. It's about vision, ability, and experiences, and activity. Uh, I think women will continue to contribute to the cinema, and uh, we'll just have to wait and see how. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's a, that's a nice conclusion. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, thank you so that's much all for I think. being here. Yeah. For, for coming and speaking with us. Thank you. Thank you so much.